Hi, this is Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my mystery Christmas crochet along. I'm going to show you what we need and then we'll get started. You will need white. This is Red Heart Super Saver, but just some kind of white worsted weight medium yarn. Um, I would say that this probably will be too much, but you want to make sure you have enough. If uh, uh, if you had a full big skein of the Super Saver, you, you'll probably be, have more than enough, but uh, the white is what we're going to use the most of. So I gave a little, a little hint there, but I don't think that gives away too much. You'll need green, any shade, any color green that you want. Uh, same thing, this is Red Heart Super Saver, medium weight, worsted weight, whatever. Um, so you'll need a little bit of this. And same with the red, same type of dealio, some kind of medium weight, worsted weight. It doesn't have to be Red Heart Super Saver, I'm just saying that mine are, because uh, that's what I can readily get in my area. So... Those three colors, you'll need a yarn needle, and hopefully yours is not bent like mine. I just use them until they're all the way used up. So one of these days, I will probably have a piece of this <laughs> in one of my projects. <laughs> but anyway, that's not neither here nor there. A pair of scissors. It is going to be important to have a tape measure because everybody's stitches are tighter or looser and not quite the same it's going to be important to follow um, measurements on this one so make sure you have something to measure with handy and then lastly you will need an i which is also a nine or a 5.50 millimeter crochet hook okay so we are actually going to start with the white for this. And you, for me, it's 17 chains, but I'm going to show you how to measure it. You want it to be just slightly past five inches because you're going to start your stitches on the second chain from the hook. So you want really from the first chain that you start to the second to last chain to be about five inches. So I'm just gonna do 17 and do the measurements and make sure my stitches are the same as when I was practicing. And I cannot talk and do this at the same time, so I apologize if there are going to be some gaps in silence. So let me just double check this here. Come on. I believe this is, yeah, it's just one of those little lines above the five, which is good. So for me, 17 chains is what does it. So check check the size on yours because I'd hate for it to be the wrong size. Size is gonna be important, so there's another hint. So you're going to go into the second chain from the hook and single crochet across. <clears throat> And I'll come back when I get to the end of the row because otherwise this will be a very long video and it doesn't need to be. All right, so I made it all the way across. So now, sorry, I wanna make sure that this is in the picture. We're just going to, for each row, we're just gonna chain one and single crochet across. And then when you get to the end, chain one, single crochet across. You're gonna do that until it's five inches. So this should be approximately five inches by five inches. If you're off by a, sh a small amount, it's not the end of the world. But you wanna try and keep it close to that. 
So I'll come back when I have this completed five inches by five inches. All right, I have my piece finished and I already attached green. So we're going to just outline this in green with single crochets. So I'm gonna chain one and I'll get you started around the first well, maybe maybe I'll go around the whole thing. Let's see how long this takes. I don't want this to be a super long video. When we get to the corner, we'll put an extra single crochet in the corner. So here we go, this is the corner stitch. There's one in there and I'll put one in the same stitch. And we come around to the sides, it, you don't have the nice, um, I don't know, you don't have the nice stitches that come from where you were single crocheting on the sides, but there are holes there on the sides, if you can see. So I just go in each of the holes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just single crochet in them. Sorry for the long silences. I feel like I'm all business today. Let's just get right down to crocheting. Okay, now we're to the very first row where, we're, where we chained. So you're just gonna go in. I'm gonna do two in that first chain. Makes the corners a little nicer when you have two in there. So I'm going to go the rest of the way around and we can meet up when that's done. So I'll just do a single crochet in each of the chain loops and then each in the holes of this side, two in the corner, and then I'll do one more in this last stitch and I'll join with the first one and tie off. And you may leave a tail. I think we probably should leave tails. So I'll come back when that's done and show you. All right, I finished that up and then, shabam, I made a second one. So you're gonna need two. If you'd like to pause here and go back and rewatch the beginning so you can make a second one or if you remember what you're doing, the white should be about five by five. Err on the larger side rather than the smaller side. If it's slightly larger than that, it's okay. Just by a little bit though, because uh, if you're at like, five and a half or six, it'll probably be too large for what you want to do with it. But, um, excuse me, and then put the border on. And I know the border will make it a little bit larger too, so that's perfectly fine. But try to keep it around five by five. So those are the two. Next, we're going to get the red and we're also gonna make two of the next piece. So we're going to start by chaining two. And then we're going to put 10 single crochets in the second chain from the hook. We're going to make this into a round. Oops. 
Oops. That's seven. Okay, you're going to attach to the first single crochet that you did, slip stitch through there. And then we're going to put two single crochet crochets in each stitch, so that should bring you to 20 stitches, and then attach to the first single crochet. I'll come back after I've done two single crochets in each stitch. Increase it, and then you should have 20 single crochets when you're done with that. All right, so now I have 20 in the circle. So the next row, I'm going to chain one. I'll put two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one in the next. Two in the next one, and then one in the next. I'm just going to continue that pattern around. It will bring me to 30 single crochets and then you attach to the first single crochet. So I'll come back when I have that row done. It's two, one, two, one, end up with 30 at the end. All right, I just joined up with the first. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next two stitches two single crochets and then one in the next two each of the next two and this will bring us to 40 single crochets when you get to the end i'll show you really quick what what's going on so we're going to put two single crochets in that first stitch one single crochet in the next one single crochet in the next two single crochets this will be the last one i'll show you and then one and one. One and one. All right, so fit, go ahead and pause here, finish your round and come back. All right, so you should have 40 stitches going around now and it might feel a little bit like uh, wavy or whatever, but we're going to chain one and we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around join up and chain one with a total of four more rows, including the one I just described. So four rows of, of just one single crochet in each stitch around, chain one single crochet. Um, and then I'll meet up with you again. It should be a lot flatter after we do the four rows uh, with one single crochet in each stitch. All right, so here's how it should look with the four additional rows with one single crochet in each. I just joined up with the first one with a slip stitch. Um, should be laying a lot flatter for you now. So we're gonna cut a tail. So make sure you leave. This might be too much, but I have about, if you wanted to know, I have about a 20 inch tail, maybe slightly more. I just kind of did a rough guesstimate there. I'm sorry for those of you who don't use American measurements. I hope that you do have something with inches on it. Um, otherwise, I guess we'll have to figure out what the conversion is. Okay, so I'm going to put my tail through the last slip, the last slip stitch and pull. Okay, so now I have this. We're going to make three more of these, so you have a total of four of the circles. I'm going to come back and show you the next step. You'll need the green yarn for the next step. All right, I have the green here. <clears throat> Sorry, let me get the ca camera situated. So we're going to start by chaining nine. Nine. So I'm 
going to wait until I do the first row here to measure it. And you can see if yours is kind of following the same measurement as mine, uh, depending on how loose or tight you crochet. So in the second chain from the hook, we're just going to put one single crochet across. So that should equal eight stitches then. One. So let me see about how long mine is. <clears throat> Looks like it's just about three inches, a little bit shy. Here, let me see if I can get it a little farther up here. Can kind of see where mine is if it's a little bit more a little bit less that'll be fine but two inches would be too short and like three and a quarter would be too long so I'd say somewhere between two and a half and three would be good if you're measuring that you can keep it otherwise I'd you know either adjust the hook or the stitch all right so we're going to go for the next row I've seen other people do this. I don't know if it's a common thing or if it's just something I picked up, but I'm going to crochet my tail in. So for the first two stitches, you're going to single crochet them together. And I'm leaving my tail right in there so that it goes away. And then one single crochet in the rest of the stitches across. So you should now have seven single crochets across. Believe it or not, we're only gonna have one more row in this. <clears throat> gonna chain, turn and chain one, single crochet two together. And then one single crochet across. So this should have six. I'm on three, four, five, six. Yep. And <coughs> that's all you need for that. Finish with a, with a tail and pull through. Now you're going to need eight of these total. And this will conclude part one. So you'll have eight of these, four of these, and two of these. Do you know what it is? I'll see you tomorrow for the next part.